Hello, everybody. All right, well, it's finally time. Um, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. This game is really something else. I just don't know how to describe. Um, it's hard. Um, this game is very close to me. It's very dear to my heart. Dear to me and close to my heart? Whichever one. It's amazing. Either way. You don't have to like it. It's good. This game is all pure action oriented. It's all pure hunt the big guy. Hit him with your weapons. G get him. That's <laughs> uh, it's clearly the most accurate way to describe it. Um, I don't know. I'm giddy. I'm I'm absolutely giddy. It's only about an hour after this thing came out. Um, I am just so happy to finally have this version in my hands. Uh, we're playing this on the Wii U. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, there's also a 3DS version um, that is also very good. Uh, this one is in full-on HD. Um, the 3DS version is amazing and comes with the whole built-in 3D thing, which looks amazing. I've played the Japanese one uh, when it came out a while ago. Um, I actually own that one and I played it, so uh, you could say I've played this game before. But if that's any indicator of how amazing this game is, I just want to stress, and I can't too much, that this is just plain amazing as a video game. Um, whew, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to describe what will happen here. Um, it's really good. So, I mean, I hope, I hope it translates to video. I just want to walk through this game with you guys. I want to show you how I play it. Um, maybe convince you to play it. Uh, if you have the capability to. Um, I know not everybody can can get something like this, but if you can, uh, you should certainly send me a message if you ever see this video, and we will, I would love to hunt with people from YouTube. Uh, send me a message if you own the Wii U version. Um, unfortunately, the 3DS version does not have online multiplayer, only local. Um, slight drawback. But uh, anyway, I'm going to give you a video of the intro for those of you who are not familiar with this series. Um, so, enjoy!
Okay, welcome back, everybody. The, uh... Wasn't it amazing? Wasn't it cool? It's a really nice cinematic. It's updated from the old... From the old try... From the old try opening. Um, this game is a sequel, but it isn't. Um, it's more like a... More like an expansion, but kind of every game is kind of like an expansion on the last one. They don't really have a contiguous storyline. So, anyway, enough talking. Let's get started. We gotta make our character. Ooh, wow. Model looks slightly better, but look at that low res belly button. <laughs> that doesn't matter. You don't have it. Ooh. Character name is visible to anyone who receives my guild card. That's okay. Oh, okay, so I gotta type it in down here on my on my uh, gamepad, whatever you call that. Um, how do I do capital letters? There it is. Giraffe Factory. Boom. Oh, I have used too many letters. That is thoroughly unfortunate. I guess we're gonna have to go with giraffe. That's okay. I can live with that. I am male. Clothing. How is that different? Oh, whoops. <laughs> What's the difference? Oh, the color of the frills on these two? I guess that's the difference between the, the two kinds. Huh. Okay. Uh one. I like this one. How do I... Ooh. Oh! Listen to that little noise. Sounds like a, like a dog barking. <laughs> Let's see. I think we can change this later. I mean, yeah, you can always change your, your outfit color. I'm gonna go with the uh, crazy pink, maybe. Wait. Yeah. Crazy pink. Face. Your face. Oh, what have I done? Type two, three, four. Oh god. <laughs> Little old man. I think I've picked this face before. I've made a lot of characters in these games. I've logged um, countless hours. I, I usually estimated around uh, uh, low thousands. Um, I think I broke 2,000 last time I counted, and that was before I started my last playthrough of Try. Gosh, I don't know. Low thousands is a good estimate. I love these games. I'm no pro, though. Um, I've hunted with a lot of serious pros online. Um, they are amazing at this game. Uh, I'm nothing like them. I have a good time, and I just try to look good doing it. <laughs> I guess I'll just take that guy. Whatever. Feature? Oh, God. No. No. Ooh, hairstyles. A pompadour. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Let's see. No. No. So this episode's going to be a little bit boring. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just going to do the intro kind of grunt stuff. Um, we'll get to the stuff that's more in that in like the uh, the opening cinematic a little bit later. We're going to have to go through some. There's a lot of tutorials, unfortunately, but this game rewards patience. Um, this game is practically all about patience. Uh, and it's just punctuated by brief moments of beautiful action. Let's go with this cropped cut here. Is that what you call that? Either way, that's what I'm going with. Um, hair color, please. Blonde. Purple. Can I get like a normal color in here? If not, we're going fabulous, I guess. Yeah, looks like it. 
I really can't. There's a. Uh, there's a certain, like, face paint that I usually get. What is this? Let me tan. Alright. Um, All these voices are hilarious. This one. <laughs> kind of sounds like a little girly boy version of Link from Ocarina of Time. Oh, his moments of moments of manliness. I want to go with this one. I kind of like that. Um, this is so odd. I could have sworn that there were more features when I played this on the 3DS, the Japanese version. There's there's bound to be differences, but you wouldn't think that this would be different. Oh well. Um, I think I'm satisfied with that. I will be your local giraffe. Oh, I see. Characters have to be ten... Names have to be ten characters or less. Okay, well... Um, we will hardly see what this man truly looks like. What I truly look like. Because that's clearly what I look like. It's also how I dress. Um, because, as you'll find out... Ooh. The initial setting for the touch panel display in the HUD. Um, the, uh... What is this nonsense? Um, I want you guys to be able to see the info, so we're going to go to standard. Uh, if you guys don't want to see the info, um, just give me a little bit of feedback. I'll try an episode without it, see what it looks like. But y'all got to watch them first. I know I don't have uh, more than three <laughs> uh, subscribers, but... You know, if you're watching the video and you liked it, just let me know with a little comment. And uh, go ahead and let me uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Anyway, I'll let you watch this intro video. Little story intro there. Oh wow, this game is beautiful. Gosh. All oh, the colors are much more vibrant in this one. Okay, so uh, here's the village chief. We, uh, we're just a... Uh, we're a little nobody hunter who just showed up um, at the 
request of the Moga village. Uh, they're having troubles, as you saw with that earthquake. Uh, something happening, you know. So we're here to uh, kind of ease their ease their concerns. Yeah, that's the right word. And try to figure out what to do and uh, learn how to hunt in the process. Let's see here. Pretty good. It's called Moga Village. Pretty good. They're little, uh, little, uh, little old people living on this, this old deserted island. Um, most deserted. Deserted is kind of a bad way to describe it. <laughs> uh, except for them. Other than them, deserted. Just a bunch of monsters. <clears throat> but it's not all rainbows and sunshine. <laughs> Y'all ever heard of a laggy acris? <laughs> I think I, I think I got that once in college. <laughs> I do enjoy not starving to death, just like them. But earthquakes, they often give me trouble with eating. I did feel them. as a character. <laughs> oh, thanks. Appreciate it. So these little uh, speech bubbles are like people I want to talk to, I guess. Let's see. Back to him, huh? Port of Tanzia. 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 So what he's referring to is actually the online mode, which we won't be doing here. Um, but I may put some videos up. This is this here is going to be a little series of me playing through the single player with you guys. Um, I might put up some online hunts, um, uh, maybe as I do them if I record them, um, or later once, uh, once I'm already set up, m once we get past kind of the, the, uh, the offline mode as I like to call it, um, there's only a, there's a limit to so much you can do, wait what, there's, to how, however much you can, whatever, there's a limit to what you can do in offline mode and then you're encouraged to go hunt online and you can do it alone if you want to there's there's like this semi offline uh like or, or rather semi online mode where you are able to go play the quests and they're still just as hard as if they were online but you get to do them solo which is what I did with my 3DS version. So I might be recording those later after we fill out the single player mode. But that's for another time. Let's keep talking to these fellers. This is going to be a long intro, um, unfortunately. Uh, I might split this into two pieces even um, because this stuff just takes forever. But you got to get it out of the way. It's part of the experience. It's fun. I swear, I love it every time. This is the guild sweetheart. She's got a total crush on the hunter. I doubt it. <laughs> mm-hmm. In theory. Nothing zipping nada. So she's just describing, like, she gives you quests and junk. We'll go over that later. What's up, little man? This is the Wyvernian Artisan. Or, 
Wyvarian? Wow, I've been reading that wrong for years. <laughs> I, I, for serious, just read that correctly. I don't know how I've... What? Wyvarian. I guess it sounds better. I don't know. This is the fishmongress. She, uh, she deals with the, uh, with the goings-on of the ships that come and go. Yeah. Um, we don't have any ships right now. But we will earn them, and we'll be able to send them out and get resources and stuff. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that when it comes to it. This is the little shop lady. The gal with the goods, as it says up there in the top left. Um, and this is, oh, Neko means cat, in case you were wondering. Um, that's interesting that that's his name. Um, he brings us to the online mode. We're just gonna not talk to him in case he accidentally brings us there without us asking. Uh, here's a child. Hey, buddy. It's a carefree lad. What you doing, buddy? Okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, he gave us a little whetstone. This is our new house. Oh, here's our here's our chamber line. Oh. He's gonna protect our stuff. I appreciate it. I see. Okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, cool. Interesting. I don't think we can download DLC right now. Um, not that we'd really want to play it yet, anyway. So we get our first lamp. What's it look like? Bam! Little old mushrooms! And they change color. It's so cool. Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Mic moving around. Okay, well, why I went, why I went in here um, is to look at this. This is our box. Uh, I'm not going to try to explain too deeply because I feel like I'm talking too much. So, I'm going to go to my equipment, and in here is all of my stuff I can wear on my body. Um, and there are 12 weapon types. Uh, I have one basic, like, the, the metal, the iron branch of every kind of weapon right now. Um, I'm going to start with... I guess the great sword because it is cool and it's the simplest not necessarily the simplest but it's really nice uh, it's one of my old favorites I've been using this sword the great sword for uh, every single game I've ever played of this uh, it's one of my best weapons I'm gonna start with it to show you guys what it looks like but I'll be cycling through all the weapons to try to give you guys an idea of what the game's more like going out to the woods. So you just walk to the end of that bridge, and then you get out here. Hmm. That's, that is true. So there's the map. And like I said, um, I'm gonna, I said I'd keep the map there. Um, I'm referring to the, uh, the fact that I could put the map onto my gamepad, but for the sake of this playthrough, I'm going to leave that there. I could also leave my... I'm pretty sure I can put my health and, like, my little name there on the left. Um, and my, uh, pretty much everything on this screen, sorry. Could, could, uh, <laughs> pretty, yeah, just everything. I could put everything I wanted down onto my gamepad. Yeah, that's all. I feel like I wanted to say something more, but I didn't know. I lost it while I was saying it. So here we are. 
Turn around. Serpentine. Oh. So that yellow bar on the top of the screen is my stamina. When you run, it, uh, it depletes constantly. And uh, you can always turn the camera around and jump. Yeah, yeah. Played the game. So turn the camera. Pretty good. Um, you can also tap L to center the camera. Uh, and there's more to that later. Um, you can also dodge like that. You roll around. Um, see when I run faster, the gauge up there starts going down. And if I uh, if I roll, then the gauge jumps down like that, and I have to I have to not do things that require stamina for it to come back. But I can move at least. That's nice. It's a uh, it gets pretty good later, where you're uh, running out of stamina. There's actually items you can use to increase your stamina and uh, to make it not drain and so on. Um, yeah, but that's all. There's so much to this game. It's so hard to, it's hard to pick out what I need to tell you and what not to. Uh, <laughs> this is a great sword. It's a great sword, isn't it? You can, uh, with every weapon, there are a couple ways to attack. Um, with the greatsword, uh, you can hit one button to block, which is nice. Not every weapon can block. Um, it can block, but it reduces your sharpness. More on sharpness later. Um, you can also do vertical attacks, and you can charge them. Oh, I missed the charge. How embarrassing. Um... There are uh, there are essentially four levels to charge. Uncharged, like that. Uh, charged medium, where you go like that. And then the bigger charge, that one. And then there's a uh, there's the level three charge they call it. Um, and you gotta get the timing just right. Oh gosh, what is up with this? Uh, yeah, I mentioned I'm a pro, but uh, <laughs> clearly I gotta get my timing back down. I've been playing uh, the other ones too much. I'll just, I'll, whatever, it's the controller's fault. <laughs> I blame the controller. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. Where is it? Come on. Oh, hit the charge, would you? Oh, gosh. Okay, well, whatever. And then he can put it away. <laughs> okay. Um, and then there's also the horizontal slash. And you can chain these attacks together. Like, I could, I could go horizontal, vertical, right? And still never make that. Gosh. Um, and then you can also hit the two attack buttons together, and you can do the reverse horizontal, or do the reverse vertical. Um... And it's nice because you don't move too much when you do it. You end up pretty much back in the same spot. Um, how, what is up with this? That was it. That's what that looks like. And that's what that sounds like. Fantastic. Okay. Sorry. I had to do that for me. It's not you. It's me. Alright. You know, a plant muncher better known as an herbivore. Show them vegans who's boss. Alright, it's describing attacking and so on. Let's, let's, give him a, let's give him a little run around. Got him. <laughs> oh, his stamina gauge was much longer when he was young. <laughs> oh, that's good. Great sword's nice because um, 
you have the option, I even though it's a lot slower than a lot of the weapons, you have the option of continually attacking. Um, yeah, so you run up to monsters once they're dead, and you can tap A to, to carve them up, and you get stuff based on what they are and what quest you're on. So I'm grabbing a bunch of raw meat here. And I believe Junior, the guy we're looking for, is going to teach us what to do with the raw meat. Over here. Yeah. Look at the beautiful scenery. This game is in full HD. Um, it's pretty amazing. Most of the textures... Okay, full is not entirely accurate. Most of the textures are HD. Um, this game was originally released on the 3DS, so uh, you can't expect necessarily everything to be 100% beautiful. But, you know, pretty pretty amazing for an upscale of a, of a handheld. That was a noise he made. <laughs> How is he even talking to me there? Hey, buddy. No boundaries, right? S stand right up on him, right when I meet him. <laughs> he doesn't want to be known as Junior. He wants me to think he's cool. <laughs> this is their old shed. <laughs> so he's going to make it my very own hunting base. <laughs> hey, buddy. I got some. You're welcome. <laughs> Might want to cook it. Alright, fine. Suit yourself. Uh, that thing I just opened up down there. See on the. Oh, whoops. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, alright. Um, down there in the bottom right is items. Uh,. We'll talk about those later as they come along. This is a whetstone. You use it to sharpen your blade back up. And raw meat, you can cook or you can lay down kinds of meat to like attract monsters. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but it looks like actually this episode, gosh, it does take a while to get started, doesn't it? But I swear, it is worth the wait. It is amazing. Um, so yeah, like that's it for this episode, YouTube. Uh, as always, I uh, I'll be here, your favorite giraffe factory, just waiting for you. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Let's take a look at the look at those clouds, man. They're beautiful. Oh boy. All right. Well, see y'all next time.